Hey gang, it's Joel Palmer here, bringing you another edition of KBC 20. That's kettlebell conditioning in 20 minutes. So we're gonna get you started here, a quick 20 minute workout. This is a great one, you can fit this right into your, uh, your busy day. Uh, 20 minutes of working out, three times a week. You can get a lot of fitness in in 20 minutes. So we're gonna bring this to you right now. We're gonna get started. Remember, make sure you warm up on your own. Add an extra little five, 10 minutes of warm up, cool down activity. Turn this into a half hour workout if you want. Um, make sure you have a water bottle handle handy and a uh, sweat towel handy, just in case you need those. Keep them close, because we're gonna just rifle through things and uh, kind of keep the pace going here today, all right? KBC 20 workout, this is edition number three. We're gonna start jumping jacks and walkouts with a shoulder tap. I'll show you that in just a second. We're gonna start with your jumping jacks, 30 seconds of jumping jacks in three, two, one, hit it. Remember, you can also crank up some tunes. You don't need to listen to all my blathering around out here. You can just crank some tunes if you wish. Hit the mute button when you want to hear me. Jumping jacks, nice pace here. Getting your heart rate going. Blood circulating. Warm up that body a little bit. All right, here we go. Walkouts with the shoulder tap. Here, walk it straight out into the high plank. Tap the shoulder, tap the other shoulder, walk it back. Walk it forward, tap, tap, walk it back. There you go. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, beautiful. We're back up, jumping jacks. Get yourself a good 20 minute workout here today. <clears throat> Most people can fit 20 minutes in. Here we go. Walk them out. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk it back. Here we go, we're going one more time here, jumping jacks. If you need to do a low impact one, fine. Step it out. All things can be modified, okay? All things can be modified. The so walk out, if you don't want to do the walk out and back, just stay in the high plank. Shoulder tap it. If you need to, do your plank. From your knees, shoulder tap it. So we'll walk out, tap, tap, walk back, or you can just hang out in the high plank, tap, tap, or again, if you had to, you could do them from your knees, okay? You can even do your walkouts from your knees. All depends on what level of fitness you're at. We can all do this. Time. Nice. Grab a quick breather there. Two hand swings and squats. Two hand swings and squats. So we're going to start with your kettlebell. Two hand swing on the bell. Here we go. Be ready. Two hand swings and squats. Here we go. Hit it.
set that kettlebell down. Body weight squat. Nice, back to your two-hand swing. Swinging it out. Remember, chest high is good. It's not to go too high, right? Chest high. Whew. Squeeze your butt cheeks at the end of each swing. So right here at the top, at the top, squeeze your butt cheeks tight. All right, this time we are going kettlebell squats right here. They don't need to be fast. Go at your pace. Back to swings. One more time. Set her down. Body weight squat one more time. Time. Take 30. Shake it out. Take 30. Hand, hand. Long cycle clean. And then we'll go right into a one arm row from there. Okay. So the cleans are hand to hand. Switch hands every rep. Then we'll do right hand row. Back to cleans. Left hand row. Hand to hand. Long cycle on the cleans. Here we go. Clean the first one. Right side, hand to hand switch. Whew. Left side, hand to hand switch. Whew. Right side. Set that down, right-handed row. All right, here we go, back to our cleans. Hand to hand them. One side, switch the other. Here we go. Left-handed row. Make sure you lean on that front leg. Lean on it. Take a three-point contact. More stable that way. Protects your back that way. And 
and done. Nice. If you need water, get it now. If you need water, get it now. Next round, this is a uh, sort of a Tabata timing on this one. We're gonna work for 20, take 10 seconds off, work for 20, okay? This is an ab round. You have a choice. You can do this with or without the kettlebell. With or without the kettlebell. First thing would be a right-handed. We're gonna press it out, hollow body, flutter kicks, right-handed. Then we'll switch, do the same on the left hand. Then we will put the kettlebell down and just do um, one down, two up. One down, two up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch. You can watch the first pass through if you want. Stop the video, back it back up, continue on, all right? Otherwise, just try to follow along. This is gonna be 20 and 10. We're gonna start with the right-handed flutter kicks. So, with the flutter kicks, what you wanna do, make sure, remember, we want to take that lower back and hollow it out. We'll press the kettlebell here, flutter. If you choose, you can go without the kettlebell and just press your arm up empty-handed and flutter, okay? Totally up to you. I'll, uh, I'll stay in this position for this one just so you can kind of see it, and then I'll face you in a minute. Here we go, 20 and 10 on this one. 20 and 10, here we go. We're gonna start right-handed, grab that kettlebell right-handed, and we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Press it up, How out that lower back, flutter kick here. Flutter kick it. Time, take 10 seconds off. If you want, you can go empty handed. Let's show you that on the left hand side. Here we go. Hollow out, left arm up, flutter kick it here. So you can do this without the kettlebell if you choose. Right there. Time. All right, 10 seconds here, dump your kettlebell. We're gonna go um, one down, two up. So here we go. Haul out, we start here. Down on the right, down on the left. Don't let them touch the floor, bring them both up. Down on the right, down on the left. Don't touch the floor, don't rest. Bring them both up. One down, then the other, both up together. One down, then the other, both up. All right, 10 seconds off. We're going right back to the beginning. Right-handed flutter kicks. Show you this angle. Here we go. Press out the kettlebell. Hollow out your back. Flutter. Just like a swimmer. Just flutters. Time. Switch hands. Remember, you can do this one empty-handed if you want. Totally up to you. If you have to, you can even prop under here with your hands if you need to. Here we go. Press it up. Flutter it out. Time on that one. Get ready. One down, two up. Remember, if you need to, if this is tough on your back, prop here with your hands. Here we go. One down, then the other. Bring them both up. One down, then the other. Bring them both up. If you can hold that hollow, great. One down, then the other. Bring them both up. And time. Very nice. Give yourself 30 seconds there. If you need to towel off or grab water, do it now while you got a little rest. Do it now while you got a little rest. 
Next round, one-handed swings and kettlebell hammer curls. One-handed swings, kettlebell hammer curls. Taking this one, all kettlebells this round, all kettlebells. So we're gonna start right-hand swing. We'll do uh, 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Hammer curl it. We're gonna go through this round twice through this round twice. Here we go. Let's start right-handed. Right-handed swing, so just one-hand swing. In, three, two, one, hit it. Switch hands, 30 on the left. Nice. We're gonna grab that kettlebell by the horns, hammer style. Here, curl it out. Keep your butt flex tight. To your right handed swing. Switching hands, left-handed swing. Nice, we're going to the hammer curl. Regrip it. Here we go. Time. Very nice. Quick drink if you need it. Quick drink. Here we go. We're coming up on our last round here. Tactical lunge. Side shuffle without the kettlebell. Floor dips, which is a close grip push up. Okay, right on the floor. You can do it from your knees if you gotta. That's fine. Here we go. Tactical lunge. Here we go, right hand, step back right legged, pass it under, come on up. Step back left legged, pass it under, come up. There you go. Time, set that down. Here we go. Side shuffle, hopping, side to side. Try to get a little tempo. Try to keep a bend in your knee, a little bend in the knee. 
athletic position, right? Instead of up tall, right? We want to be here, bend and catch here. Push, catch on the other side. Push and catch. Boom. There you go. Floor dips. Close grip. Here. Elbows tight to your sides. Here. If you have to do them from your knees, go to your knees, do them there. That's fine. Whatever you can get in for work here, okay? Very nice. We're back up. Tactical lunge. There you go. When you're ready, let it fire. That down, side shuffle, hopping. Nice, here we go. Floor dips. Excellent. Catch a quick breath. One bonus round. One bonus round. And you're done. You can ditch your kettlebell. Ditch your kettlebell. This is an ab round. It's an ab round. Again, we're going to go 20 and 10. 20 and 10. I'm going to go sideways here so you can see me better. We're going to start just with basic crunch. Basic crunch. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go, just a lower body bicycle. Not doing the upper part, just the knees. Try to hollow out that lower back if you can. We're just doing the knees and go. Sorry, there was a 10 second break in there that I probably fouled you up, that's okay. Keep working. Lower body bicycles. Time, take a 10 second break. We're gonna do some heel reaches. Here, crunching, reaching for your heels. And go. Time, we're gonna do some pull-ins. So we're gonna sit up. You can use your hands for balance, pulling the knees in, okay? Here we go. Hit it, pull ins here. If you got the balance worked out, you can go without the hands. If you need them, use them. Time done. Excellent, there you go guys. 20 minutes of work, 20 minutes of work. KBC 20, KBC 20, kettlebell conditioning in 20 minutes. 
all right? Great way to get a quick workout in if you press for time or if, uh, if you're just not into doing hour, hour and a half workouts, I get it. 20 minutes, three times a week. Other days, throw in a good walk, a bike ride. Doesn't have to always be intense. Just get active and move. If you want more work than this, go through, do it a second time. Take a little breather, go through, do it a second time, or add some supplemental work that you want to work on. Practice your swings, practice your figure eights, practice your uh, long cycle cleans, whatever it is you might want to do. There you go, KBC 20. This is KBC 20-3, third installment of this one. We'll get you some more later down the road. Enjoy your day. Remember, life is heavy. Train for life. We like caffeine and heavy stuff. So bring it on. Enjoy your day. We'll check back with you next time. I'm Joel. See y'all.